What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking to Kobe 8, Pro Tro, Aqua, and Court Purple. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Kobe 8, Pro Tro, Aqua, and Court Purple. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. So, first things first, these are set to release February 8th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $190, right? Okay. And of course, you know the kid, glance at the resale pricing right now, look like they're averaging $280 and up, depending on the size and or color, right? Okay. Now, I think the Aquas are actually more on the closer, on the mid 300 uh, resale price range. So, just saying, maybe the Aquas are a little bit more, quote unquote, popular. But, um, here we are, another Kobe man. So, First things I do want to say, RP to Kobe and Gigi, you know what I mean? And that's his daughter, by the way, man. Definitely still a tough time, I'm pretty sure, for the family and everybody, man. But um, here we are, another Kobe release. And I got to say, man, um, it's nice to see that they're doing this. And I got to give credit to Nike for this one. Um, one thing that I did notice on the shoe, it looks like it has his number written all over the shoe this time with the 8 and the 24 kind of just kind of like written all over the place. Now, this is where the problem comes into play where people make the decision like, do you get these or try to go for these for the flip ski to try to make a dollar? Because some people are against it. Some people just saying it's business. Now, I do want to glance down at the shoe real quick, get a quick, just a quick little visual thing. But the Aqua, right? Okay, like it's honestly not bad. And I think it's going to be a good shoe for summertime, right? Okay. And then, of course, the court purple just kind of makes sense because, you know, he was with the Lakers. And I think the court purple is also coming in the youth or grade school sizes as well. So, look like you'll have probably more chances to get this shoe or at least to have that family bond if you want to do that right okay probably hence why those are probably you know a little bit less on the resale market versus the aquas right okay um overall again i just want to make sure i got the model right as well because you know i'm not i'm gonna keep it 100 i'm not the biggest kobe sneaker fan right i'm talking sneakers here but it is the eighth um i never owned a pair of kobe's um again when i see this same thing with the kds man i can't help but think of like die hard like a straight up basketball shoe and we can say that about the jordans as well but this one just screams more basketball than jordans to me um again i don't know what it was because like a lot of jordan shoes were based out of his like some type of experience like one of his cars like the ferraris or the porsches and stuff like that i could see that kind of how they make that into a shoe i guess maybe i need to do a little bit more research on what the kobe's and stuff were kind of like build up off of i know we can i know the story behind the grinches and stuff like that but here we are with this and i know like this one isn't suit this one's steam but not on the level of the grinch and then of course we had like what the red grinches as well and i don't even think nike officially gives them those names but here we are another kobe here i feel like this is also a good shoe that could be low key could be great for valentine's day i mean purple is not a color we always think of valentine's day but i can see why people would think of that in aqua it's a nice like subtle colorway so i mean if you're into kobe's why not but now if you're gonna flip them that's on you i did it before and people gave me flag for it as well but i mean it come with the game i don't like it sometimes when it happened to shoe i really really want it just comes with it so um Overall, man, for me personally, though, you know, I don't want to ramble on too much with this video and act like I know the every specs and details about Kobe's because I don't, but I do know just enough to be dangerous. Um, I think it's a dope shoe. Um, I'm glad they're still giving back for the fans for sure and the people that want to support Kobe's, especially for the people who just want to have something that still is probably even like a diehard Lakers fan as well because that purple, I feel like low key, you can get that off and wear it to the games as well. That one, I feel like a be a little bit more versatile. For the actual like Laker fans but again buy what you like at the end of the day but for the kid personally these will be a skip not a bad shoe just 
not something for me, if that makes sense. Um, definitely still glad they're still putting it out, but overall for the kid, these will be a skip. But I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section. We'll be going at these on February 8th, retailing at $190. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.